Good morning, folks. We've got some cool science news today, including another event that can be considered on the tinier scale of NOVA events. But the sun is also gearing higher, and that's where we'll begin. No major flares, no CMEs put out in Earth's direction, minor coronal hole signatures in the telemetry of the solar wind, but for the most part, geospace quiet belies what's happening on the sun. The sunspots are growing. Next coronal hole stream will arrive early next week and be a strong one and both flare and CME risks are rising. We've got eyes on our star. Meanwhile, we're gonna jump over to the big story in science news. They claim to have imaged the central black hole of the Milky Way. Well, let me say, of the two new images released yesterday, this is the one most representing reality, bright spot in the middle. But then they do the exact same type of fiddling with data to argue that they can image what is not so ambiguously blocked by basically everything between us and it in the galaxy. Folks, not only is the Taurus and presumed jet location based on the Taurus off-kilter compared to the galaxy, which we know cannot be the case due to the perfect north-south protrusion of the Fermi bubbles, but this analysis is the exact same one they used for M87 about two years ago or so, and was utterly shredded by Dr. Robitaille from Sky Scholar. He has tons of videos on why black hole science needs to change, but today, the analysis of their analysis is where you go if you want to understand why they only think they've imaged a black hole. By the way, he's got new videos on the microwave background out today as well. Top stories for those living in reality begin with the great piece by Vusin. You may recall Vusin and I have our own disagreements where he is very much less afraid of the geomagnetic changes ongoing on the planet, but he also pulls no punches on the climate science failures. Here, being super polite and framing it as Hey, if you guys don't stop doing what you're doing, eventually the world is going to catch on and nobody's going to listen to you anymore. While I prefer ramming facts down scientists' throats, I'm eager to see if he has any more luck in convincing them. Lastly, folks, E. Rosita is doing much more than mapping the galactic and extragalactic X-ray background. It's helping to catch tiny nova events, too. This one appears to be of the same level as several others of the small ones more confined to the accretion region, and this is probably the realest arm of astronomy at the moment, the wildly expanding world of nova progenitors, energy ranges, and aftermath appearances. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.